Carter and the baby mm-hmm. boy. That one, I have heard so many stories about um, women who say, oh my goodness, you know, he just wants me to look after him. He just wants to come and stay at my house. He turns up and he won't leave. And then Mm -hmm. he he starts leaving his stuff. And then like he goes out and keeps coming back and he keeps staying and trying to stay later and later Mm -hmm. and later. And each time he comes over, for example, he brings something of his Mm -hmm. else to add to the little collection that's growing. (laughs) How do you put a block on these people? This is the thing. Well, again, well, remember, it's, again, we only do what you guys allow. You know, see, there you go. You know, see, my wife has met a baby boy, but she didn't date him. My wife mm-hmm. has met a CEO, but she didn't date him. So, you know, mm-hmm. you're, I, you can't control the man that approach you, but you can control the man that you date. So mm-hmm. that, that's you, women, women think we have the control. We don't. Oh, we don't. Oh, we only have oh. the power to choose. It's just like mm-hmm. a job. We we have the power to apply anywhere we want to. But the mm-hmm. job has the power to accept you. You ladies are the ones that accept us. So you're the ones that have the power. The problem is once you accept us and your emotions get tied up in it, that's when the power goes out the window. Mm. Whoa, people only do what you allow them to. Mm -mm. People, you heard it here. Oh, my goodness. The labels that you chose were very specific. And as Mm -hmm. we know, very funny because I'm killing myself here laughing. But can I ask you? Why did you choose those in the end? Because I'm sure you may have had other names that might have been even more, you know, <laughs> aggressive, shall we say. Well, you know, I, 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 again, it just, they just fit. Uh, you know, especially that BS or the, the bull, you know, whatever. I mean, he <laughs> just, I mean, he just, because it, it, it was the stuff they were feeding women and that women were accepting was just such bull. And it just, <laughs> it amazed, you know, it, um, one of the guys said, he said, man, it amazed me. He said this in my quote. He said it amazes him that the stuff that his grandfather would do still mm. works on women today. He said it's amazing. He said it's amazing. He it says, it, it say, you know, because women still want love. They still want to, you know, give men the benefit of the doubt. They, you know, we are just so different than you guys in that arena. And they don't, they underestimate how far a guy would go for a lie. Mm. Mm-hmm. They underestimate how far a guy will go for sex. And so women don't understand why we go through so much for sex. We don't understand why you go through so much for love. We don't understand it. Wow. Wow. We don't understand it. Like the men are from Mars and women are from Venus. Is, is that mm-hmm. what that thing has been perpetuating all this time? Yeah, like, I mean, just, so. Yeah, yeah it is. And, and But I, I get, again, I just want women to understand there are a lot, a lot of great guys. But once you read the book, you're going to start seeing yourself as well because you are also the contributing factor. Mm-hmm. It takes two. If it were all men fault, if it, if men were the only problem, then there 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 are a lot of there there are a lot of there are almost two billion married couples in this um uh, in this world. So if it was all men, why are these other people married? Then, I've yeah. had some women say, you know, who are celibate now. Ooh. That's if that were the holy grail, every woman mm-hmm. would do it. Yeah, if that would th- that that is just you know one one I explained this to one young lady who who who's decided to stop having sex. I said you're thinking that sex from A to Z, A you're single, Z you're getting married. You're thinking not having sex is going to jump you all yeah. the way to Y, yeah, all the way to X. <laughs> uh uh-uh. uh. Now you see, I say you're just some. Now you're just somebody who's not having sex, but you still may uh, have a bad attitude. You still yeah. may have anger issues. You still may have. <laughs> You still may have insecurity oh issues, so you, it, you know. So I, I tell women, especially women who are who are in the church and who are not having sex, not having sex. To me, in my theory, is just God saying, "Thank you, I appreciate it." But now I'm hoping you can now hear me closer to what I've been trying to tell you the whole time. <laughs> concentrate now look there at the bigger go. picture there you oh, go because i mean i'm just curious because i have to ask you since you've identified the six different types of men see this is a bit of devil's advocate kind of thing how would somebody identify a person who has a little bit if not all of those traits rolled into one because they're in big trouble in it yeah i mean some of the men do um like the beat like the total package sometimes mm-hmm. become a comes to be will inevitably become a bser um, I've met women who have found an online player who turned into being a baby boy. So it's it, it. Some of these men do have multiple traits, but again, that time it starts to peel back those layers, and you start to see, oh, that's who you are. Oh, that. So I've, I've had a lot of women email me and say, "My gosh, your book has prevented me. I ran into this guy, mm-hmm. and geez, if he wanted a baby boy, geez, if he wanted a CEO." <laughs> Then they go to come to me for coaching and say, okay, how can I stop bumping into these men? 
Uh-huh. How can I stop attracting these men into my life? And so that's when we go deeper and we find out that um, that there's some insecurity or there's some issues from your past because these men can sense the insecurity on you. They can sense it. They can oh. sense it. It's not a oh. secret. You're not hiding it. They know. Wow. I have so many more questions for you. And I know my time is running out. And Oh, my goodness. I mean, for example, if somebody is supposedly the total package, isn't that what somebody would want? Because, you know, but then again, I suppose you should be cautious and wary because nobody is perfect, right? Yeah, nobody is <laughs> perfect. I mean, so you can, you know, that's why the total package guy is so is so appealing because, even if he's everything you want, but if he's not reciprocating those same feelings, mm. then you still, you can't, the, what, what makes him so dangerous is women think they can change his mind. Mm-hmm. And with him being a professional ball player, you know, 6'5", I can't remember how tall uh, he was in my book, but, you know, he's a great looking guy, very wealthy. So, you know, women are doing things, you know, like, you, you know, you heard those comments about Donald Trump, the things he said, mm-hmm. uh, you know, women were appalled, men weren't really that shocked. <laughs> because we, we know when that for certain women that comes around a certain type of guys, they will let them do just about anything. Yeah, they'll let, them, they'll let them do anything. So that's the thing, you know. So when women run into these these total package guys, these guys that have a certain type of money or influence. Here's the thing: once you realize you can get that yourself, you won't put up with half the crap anymore. <laughs> Well, that's the thing. You're just like, okay, why should I bother? What's wrong with me? Yeah. You know, that there is nothing wrong with me. So I, I, I've I, seen what this person has been giving me and I've decided, uh-huh. you know what? I don't want to do this no more because why should I keep making myself feel bad when I'm, uh, you know, I am a, I'm a good person. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a good woman. I, I can make ha- someone happy. If I want to be married, I should go for what I want kind of thing. So uh-huh. why am I putting up with all this stuff? Exactly. Well, well, it, it goes back to the same thing. Why, if if you're putting up with a job that disrespects you, it's because you're not confident you can get another job. So you stay and mm-hmm. you deal with it. It's mm-hmm. the same thing. If you're dealing with a crappy relationship, it's because you're not confident you can get a better one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, oh, but no. again, the guy would not tolerate what he does to you. He's out. He's mm-hmm. out. <laughs> and that's it. He's not interested in why she did it and can we try again? And yeah, Oh, my gone. goodness. He's gone, mm-hmm. and, mm-hmm. and and the only man that's going to stay in it is if he's also unhealthy. Remember, only a, a healthy man is going to get in the car with you at this point. If you're still dating out of your dysfunction, only another unhealthy man with issues and drama is going to get in that car with you. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. What, what happens is the man that doesn't have issues, because you you're, you're have a toxic way of looking at relationships, he won't even be, you won't even find him attractive. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. You won't even find him attractive. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i have so many questions for you and i know i've got to take a break right now but mm, cullen please just stay on the line with me a little yes, bit longer because whoa it. this is people i know this is crazy good for my listeners out there and they are just laughing this up so we are going to take a short break we will be right back on the other side after this Stay tuned for more of the Ask Avani Show, only on So Metro Radio. Good afternoon and welcome back. This is the Ask Avani Show. I have been having an amazing chat with my special guest this afternoon, Colin Tate. He is known as the Leadership Lifeguard. He's an author and speaker. Wow, your book, Is This Your Man? Colin, welcome back. Thank you, thank you. Oh my goodness. You are just laying it out there for my guests on the real now i have to ask you what would you say to someone who finds out their partner was lying to them because they told them they did want to get married and then they changed their mind later on for example <laughs> so yeah so it, it, so you're saying the partner uh originally said he wanted to get married but then changed his mind yes okay then you need to leave uh <laughs> you know it, it, because if again i always i always put it back on the guy if a guy mm-hmm. If you changed your mind about marrying him, he, he's he's just not going to tolerate that. So <laughs> if 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 a guy, you're worth it. You again use the job analogy. If you're doing a great job and your boss comes to you and says, "Hey, you know, we're thinking about bringing somebody in. 
uh, you know, we're going to keep you on, but we're going to maybe uh, take you down a notch, and we're going to have somebody come in. I want you to train them on how to do your job, but you're going to start reporting to them. You're uh, out of there. You're yeah, out of there. That is disgusting. Because you, because you know your worth. So the only reason you would stick around and put up with that situation is because you don't know your worth. You're like, you're like, you know what? I don't think I even do better than this job, so I'm going to stick, stick around and deal with it. If you mm-hmm. wouldn't do with it with a job, why would you do with it with a man? Absolutely. I mean, what if somebody decides they never want to get married, maybe because of other failed relationships like we spoke about in the past, but it wouldn't have to be that. So what kind of issues can you foresee? Because they, they might feel a bit pressured to get married, like I have to get married kind of thing. Well, you know, it's, it's all about what you want. It's not about what society says, what your family says, because you're right. There are a lot of hidden pressures and outside influences. But if you're someone that just doesn't want to get married, and it's not because now here's the thing. Now, if you don't want to get married, is it be, is, you have to ask yourself this question. Is it because of what happened with your family? Is mm. it because you see marriages around you destructive and, and tear apart? Or if it's just simply, you know what, I don't feel the need to have a sheet of paper mm. to find what my love is, then okay. But <laughs> if you don't want to get married because of something that happened, then we got to revisit that. Mm, mm. we gotta revisit that absolutely if a female friend or family member in particular came to you and they said like she said she thought she may have met one of those types of men like we discussed earlier what you know what would you advise what would you say to them to stay away well you know if they if they've actually run into one of these guys and they they're seeing the characteristics and they're seeing some of the things that um that make him who he is. I mean, you just got to, again, you got to get out. But the bigger <laughs> question is, if you don't want to get out, then you got to start looking at yourself. Because mm-hmm. if, if, a, if a guy is telling you what's wrong, or he's showing you what's wrong, he's doing things that's wrong, and you're still sticking around, that's not him. That's mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. Because he's, he, his actions are showing you, this is who I am. I'm a mm-hmm. cheater. I'm a manipulator. I'm going to do things that you're not going to like. And if you decide to stick around, that's on you. And you basically taught him that this behavior is acceptable. Mm, mm, mm. That's why I say a lot of it's on us. Absolutely. Now, you know, I have to ask you, you mentioned it earlier. I have got to ask you the app, please. You said on social media that there's an app apparently that guys can use to pretend to be in two places at once. When I read that, I just burst out laughing. (laughs) So I'm just like, please, please. You got to tell us about that. So uh, I won't tell you the name, but we got to read it no, to get the name. No. But the way the way it works is, you know, <laughs> the <laughs> it, it, the guy was in another city or another state. You know, he was he told his girlfriend that he was going to uh, Tennessee for a business trip, right? Uh-huh. Um, and she actually she actually his girl her his girlfriend's friend actually saw him in another city. Um, dating somebody else so it got back to his girlfriend that hey i found out you're not in tennessee you're actually in you know chicago for example so the way the app works is he can he can have he can make any number show up on her caller id so if he wants to appear that he's at a hotel the reason the hyatt regency at tennessee he can actually make that number show up on her caller id ah. so what so what he did was he had her google the hotel number called the number herself so she called the hotel number uh and it came up regency high at tennessee um nashville tennessee and so what he said was okay i'm gonna call you back once i get to the lobby and you'll see that i'm at the hotel and uh-huh. so of course when he called back that same number and it also came up on her call id nashville tennessee so 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 there was no way he could have quote unquote been in chicago oh my god you just tell people that there are people who are so devious right mm-hmm. are there mm-hmm. people who would really i mean you've just said but I, I, in my mind i was thinking are there people who would really go to those lengths to deceive their partner or a potential partner that's number mm-hmm. that's a and b mm-hmm. is there somebody out there like the other person's you know partner who is really taking that much notice of the things their partners do to intentionally do an app like that you know to track the partner because they don't trust them yeah. <laughs> so 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 that so that's the first question you know i get this a lot from women why why do men go through so much yeah. and and it's the same thing men say why do women put up through so much for love well i mean the guy's treating you crappy he's not doing right he's not acting right why are you sticking around so 
it, it, it always has to kind of like balance. You uh-huh. know, guys do a lot 